Color show, we've got a bunch of museum gallery pieces. Museum quality, I guess I should say, gallery pieces. Uh, stay tuned, we'll be right with you. All right. Hello, everyone. Yate. And welcome to Turquoise Skies. Uh, it's our Friday show, our museum quality show. We've got uh, contemporary handmade art, uh, wearable art here. Uh, of the Southwest. This is where a jewelry store called Turquoise Skies in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Located on ancestral Tiwa homeland. Welcome to our show. Uh, we're here every Friday and our Friday show we usually have some of our bigger pieces, our big gallery pieces, uh, and we'll give everyone a few minutes to, 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 to get here. We've got Rita. Hey Rita. Rita's always the first She's one on. She's always number one. I know that like it's happening when I see Rita up there. Yeah. Hey Debbie. Hey Kevin. Welcome. So let's do a little Q&A since we have some time. Oh, you always do this. Yeah. No, I want to let you Just ask the first question, there. though. You can put me on the spot. I should, see, I should, I'm on the spot already trying to think of a question. <laughs> okay, I'll give you a question. Oh, I don't know anything about your dog. Oh, my dog. Tell me about your dog. I wish I had a picture. She's beautiful. She's... So the vet... The, uh, the shelter that we got her from said that she was an uh, Australian Shepherd, but she doesn't look anything like an Australian Shepherd. I think she's Whippet and Pitbull a little bit. <laughs> like, totally different. Super smart. She just got fixed, and so she's, Not feeling she's so good. healing right now. Oh, poor yeah. baby. So, how about you? Any farm drama today? No farm drama today, but um, it's funny you say Whippet because we have this uh, rescue mutt. We don't really know what it is. It was supposed to be a terrier, but it's just this mystery mutt. And we joke that we're going to call, like, tell people that it's a, a Whipmation. It's a designer breed that's a mix of Dalmatian and Whippet. Oh, and wow, just invent, we're just going to yeah. invent this whole narrative about the dog. So we're always all, that darn Whipmation did it again. Darn it. <laughs> always chasing the pigs. I bet, you know, I bet the chicks pace, pigs chase the dog. Uh, they don't. They, they kind of just try to ignore each other. Really? Yeah. Yeah, the pigs are just like, we're so much smarter and better than you. Leave us alone. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hi everyone. Um, Debbie, Nona, Rita, Judith is mad at us. Uh oh. Um, All right, welcome to the show. Um, I did have a question for you. It slipped my mind. Anyway, we're going to get to the jewelry now. Um, so, all of the jewelry that we're showing today is for sale. Uh, if you see something you like, just let us know, and let us know by saying sold and uh, the number of the piece of jewelry. Each of these jewelry pieces are numbered 1 through 16 or 17 today. Uh, yes. We'll be sure to be very clear about what number it is. We do get a little bit of a lag, about 10 seconds or so, and so sometimes if we move on too quickly, um, we want to make sure you're getting the piece that you that you wanted. And if you just don't know the, you know, the, the number, you just describe it, say like, you know, yeah, that white green buffalo piece. bracelet or squash blossom or whatever. We'll figure it out, but it well, helps to have some clues. You, There's a lot of jewelry shows out there. We really appreciate you spending your time with us. Our show might be formatted a little bit differently. We like getting into the art a mm -hmm. little more. Uh, so we will take our time with the pieces and go over um, the styles, the artists, where it came from. And uh, we hope that you, you we, we have a lot of people say that they learn a lot and we hope that you bring that knowledge to other shows and other places that you're shopping so you're armed with that and you know what you're you know what you're looking at um, everything here is one of a kind uh, so therefore uh, there is only one um, so it's first come first serve it's whoever says sold first sometimes uh, a piece will go very quickly and we get a lot of people all wanting it at the same time these are not mass produced we cannot make a copy of it um, so it is the first a uh, person who says sold that we will be giving the piece to. Um, if that person ends up falling, falling through for some reason, um, then we'll come back and let you know. Um, yeah, what am I missing? Well, if you need to get a hold of us, yeah, uh, you can reach us on Facebook and on YouTube. On Facebook, you can send a message to us in Messenger. You can find us on our website at tskies.com. You can email us at hello at tskies.com. Um, or you can call us here at the shop. We've got, I think Diego is up there answering the phones today. Uh, our phone number is 505-862-9443. 
don't hesitate to reach out if you have any questions. If you're not watching the show live, this is a live show, um, and you're tuning in afterwards, um, and you see something that you like that didn't sell, uh, it could still be available. So don't hesitate to reach out and see if it's still available. And uh, if we don't answer, please leave a message. So, whew, there's a lot of stuff to say <laughs> before we get started. So are you ready to look at some jewelry? Yes, I'm always ready to look at jewelry. Yeah, let's do it. All right, so this first piece, uh, we've seen its brother at one time. This is a, should I do an artist guessing? I, th these are gonna be a little harder. Um, does anyone know who this artist is? It is Tufa Cast and Inlay, and he's Navajo. Uh, that hopefully gives you some clue, but this is very difficult. Uh, Tufa Cast artist from the Gallup area. He actually lives out on the reservation uh but um is that a yibiche dancer it is can you see that wow this was hand carved oh my goodness hand carved in a tufa stone and then that tufa stone was used um as the cavity to cast and look at the detail look he's got a squash blossom on yeah the whole thing on that side it debbie good guess uh he actually worked in the same shop as daryl dean Begay. Um, a little out of focus, huh? There, there we go. go. Right there. Uh, very, say, he, he was working in the same shop as Daryl Dean Begay and Aaron Anderson for a while. Um, we've talked about him before. Um, he does a lot of inlay. Um, I actually have, he's like in the background of one of my Aaron Anderson videos um, doing some inlay. Uh, the artist's name is Lester James. Lester James, Navajo silversmith, uh, Tufa Cast piece. Something interesting about Tufa, um, it is a, uh, it's a stone very similar to sandstone um, that you can carve in, but it takes heat a little better and it is a little finer, so it takes better detail. Um, you can see the texture in there, that's all texture from the stone. Uh, I absolutely love that texture it, and you can feel it under your fingers and just know that it's a whole different kind of animal. Natural. The texture follows here on the back. Um, and I think I've got his, I think he put his hallmark on it. Oh, yeah, he did. It's under the price tag. Yep, Lester James. Can you see that? It's like, it's like kind of buried in the, oh, sticker just came off. It's kind of hidden there in the texture. Let's see if I can't get a, a shot of it. Can you see it? It's right. Right there, Lester James. Anyway, it's there, it's hidden. Um, everything uh, on the table today is 20% off. Everything is marked at gallery prices. And uh, as a thank you for watching our show and joining us, we're doing 20% off of everything today. Uh, this piece, let me get a measurement for you. And Holton's going to go ahead and pop the price up there for you guys as soon as we get a size on it. Right. The piece is uh, retailing for $17.99 uh, on sale for $14.40. Let's get a size. I think it's about a six and a half because it fits me. That's five with a one and a quarter. Make sure because it fits me real good. Oh, it's five and a quarter with one and a quarter. That makes sense. So therefore, it's a size six and a half. It's my size. So there we go. Zoom out a little bit and check out this. Uh, Lester's one of the guys that he trained with with Daryl Dean Begay and Aaron Anderson. You did recognize that style, Debbie. Great job. Um, he also does a lot of inlay work. So he cut all of these stones by hand. These are some quality turquoise stones, I believe from Kingman, and some Mediterranean coral. And again, this is Tufa cast. Uh, the thing about Tufa is it's a fine, kind of a fine sandstone. And uh, once you carve into the stone and use it, it's, is the camera shaky or is it just me? <laughs> um, once you carve out the stone, 
uh, and use it for casting, usually the stone breaks, and then you can only make one. Oh, wow. And then okay. that makes this a one-of-a-kind piece. And it's one of one method some of the artists uh, use to um, create that uniqueness to their piece. Can I adjust this just a little bit? Do you need my help? Maybe. There we go. I just feel like it was a little bright. Does that look better? It does. Yeah, that okay. looks good. Okay, give us a better... Well, then you can go ahead and put that info up there. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Perfect. Lester James, number one. Hello, Random TV on YouTube. <laughs> All right. Number two. We've had uh, we've had some of his pieces on before. He's also Navajo from the Gallup area. Uh, wow. Look at that doesn't even fit in the camera. Oh my god, that stone. What kind of stone is that? Does anybody know? I'm sure we've got a lot of people that know that one. We've talked about it before. Um, oh, the pattern around it. Yeah. Jeez. I'll give you a hint on the artist. His last name is Dixon. Huge bracelet. Let's get a measurement on this stone and the face of this piece. So we're looking at a three and a quarter for the full uh, face, and then the stone is about two and a half inches long, uh, one and three fourths wide. Large piece of wild horse. Thank you, everyone. Uh, this is uh, Ronald Dixon. That's right, Linda. Great job. Linda knows her stuff. Uh, huge. It's heavy too. It we looks like it. Here's the scale. I want to see the side of it too when you get a chance. Yeah, I was gonna get around to this. Look at that, it just keeps going. We've got these uh, bar flanks. We have the little uh, stamped shell flank on a, what is that, five shank cuff? One, two, three, four, five, half round shank cuff. Um, capped off with these terminal endings here. I don't know if we can see that. There we go. See how those are connected with the terminal end, terminal cap. Um, retailing for $16.99. Uh, on sale for $13.60. Ronald Dixon. Stamp of the artist on the inside of the terminal cap. There we go. You can see his name right there. Under there, Ronald Dixon. Love this layered border here. Whoa, we've got almost like a desert pearl beadwork border. That's interesting. That I love really that. Cool. I wonder how he did that. So 1360, go ahead and pop that up there for him, Holden. We've got a, it's almost a shell in classic Navajo stamp design. Uh, I'm sorry, classic. Classic stamp work, but with a contemporary feel here. Uh, each it looks like each one of these um, plates is hand stamped and then soldered in place rather than just stamping on some surface material. Creates this awesome border around the stone. That stone is so one of a kind. It reminds me of um, those pictures you see of outer space of like the galaxies. Oh yeah, okay. Very oh, cosmic. totally. Yeah. I see that with uh, 130 grams. Dang. Let's get a size measurement on it. Looking at five and a quarter. Oh, it's going to fit me, isn't it? <laughs> with a one inch, one and one eighth inch gap. I'm gonna open that up just a little bit so I can wear it. Oh, so close. There we go. Yeah, check that out. Maybe I should come to this camera over here. There we go. Whoa! Yeah. <laughs> that, that camera shows how huge it is. That is incredible. A huge piece. You can take over a boardroom in that right? power piece. You know they talk about cocktail rings? This is like a cocktail bracelet. <sighs> You have your cocktail in your hand and you're just... Yep. You guys want to talk about something? <laughs> Any interesting in the room to talk about? Maybe the bracelet that I'm wearing? That's great. 
All right, so that's number two, uh, Wild Horse. And uh, then what was the size? It was? It's six and a half. Six and a half. You can go six and a quarter to probably close to close to seven. Yeah, and we can, we can open and close that one fairly easily. This one I got from a, another a private collector, and I do not know the artist, so he, he, the artist must be newer, he or she. Um, I don't know who they are. I would love it if anyone could give me some information. This is not in any of the books. It is a Golden Hills turquoise stone, and it's an interesting hallmark that I haven't seen. Uh, let me show that on camera. There we go. It's kind of an RB where the backwards R. And it has to be from the last couple of years because it's really where we saw an influx of the Golden Hills turquoise. That is just such a beautiful shade. I love that little touch of lavender. I see that. Yeah. Oh, you got a little piece of sticker on there. I got a little piece of sticker? Oh, look at that. That was me. I was taking off the... We had a price tag on the back and then we moved it to the... Yeah, so we could see the hallmark. Yeah, so we could show you the hallmark. So each RB, kind of a backwards R. This is a beautiful pendant and a rare turquoise stone. Very sought after turquoise stone. Um, it reminds me of the islands of Hawaii. Oh, you can totally see that. Yeah, where I wish I was right now. Well, not I, I like being waters. right here. I wish we could just have the show, but just be having it on the beach. Yeah? With our cocktail bracelets and our cocktail rings. <laughs> or as Tammy calls them, our Manhattan evening bracelets. The Manhattan evening bracelet. I like it. This is on some uh, some pearls. Looks like they've, they have kind of a vintage look to them. Um, they are... Probably steel wool brushed, rustic uh, silver beads. Uh, this is a set with the necklace, uh, which is, let's get a measurement on this necklace. Slightly adjustable. This one's retailing for 400, but we have it on sale for you guys for 320. Ooh, Debbie wants it. Debbie Waterman sold. Congratulations. Congratulations, Debbie. We'll set this aside for you. Do you have papers over here, Holden? No. Yeah. Oh, nice. Okay. Can you let Debbie Waterman cut that one? Let me, um, let me find someone. Hey, Diego, if you're upstairs and you're watching, can you grab us some papers for... Paige and Diego, actually look inside the clipboard. Everything you need is in there. I think we're good, Diego. I came prepared. <laughs> Thank you. I you love say, this next piece. Oh, man. We're going to... No, that's not it. Oh, that's not it? That's number four. Oh. Jumping ahead. <laughs> I, I totally switched the two on here, I think, with the names. This one, number four. You got what you need, Holden? Yeah. Awesome. It's a cluster bracelet. Ooh. Oh wow. my god. <laughs> <laughs> I promised I'd scream. Ah! <laughs> Look at that. This is red oh. spiny oyster. Oh. oh, Debbie wants her drum. Did you drum? I did, but I'll do it again. Congratulations, Debbie. Red spiny oyster. Oh, I love it. I am having a free association kind of day because now this one reminds me of a pomegranate. Oh, totally. The color? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So something interesting about spiny oyster. Oh, it's so pretty. Uh, it ranges from orange to purple and red is right in between. And that's depending on how deep in the water the shell is. That literally is bringing tears to my eyes. It's so pretty. Wow. Who's the artist? Artist on this place was uh, uh, Tyler. Yep, Tyler. Tyler Brown, Navajo. Denae Silversmith. Yep, T. Trying to show off this hallmark right here. It's TB. That would be, uh, you can see that right under here. Mm -hmm. That's Tyler Brown. Right there. A little uh, modern play on the traditional cluster. 
Look at that shine. Those, those. Can I try it on? Yeah, of course you can. <laughs> Sold can if it's it? a size seven. <gasps> Ooh. Liz is gonna take that one. Oh my lord. I think it is a size seven. I think it's actually like a size seven. I'm obsessed with this. Let's take a look. Five and a half with a one and a quarter inch gap. We can totally make this a size seven. Therefore, it's sold to Liz Garcia. Ah, I'm just the teeniest uh, bit envious. And she must have saw the price there too. It was uh, it was a thousand on sale for eight hundred. What? Oh, mm, that's gorgeous. Congratulations. Can you put size seven on this as well? Hold in when you. Mm -hmm. like that, just so we make sure we yeah. size it for her. Congratulations, a stone guys. of empowerment, that one. Can you hand me those blocks that don't have jewelry on of them? Of course I can. Get them out of the way. Here you go. Thank you. Um, so if this is your first time watching or if you, if you, if we need your information, um, please send it to us either on Messenger or you can email us, e email us your information. Mm -hmm. Or direct or, message. Or direct message or call. 505-862-9443. Uh, we just need your email mm -hmm. and we can send you an invoice. And if you don't send it, we track you down. Yes, that's right. <coughs> Excuse me. Bless you. Thank you. Okay. Now we're on to Mr. Toon. Oh, Mr. Toon. Mr. Toon. So does anyone know? This was a trick question the other day. Uh, does anyone know uh, Mr. Toon's tribal affiliation? Look at this. Dave Toon. Dave Toon. Here is a hint. He comes from more than one nation. That's right. You've got two answers. Wow. This is a bolo tie by David Toon, uh, silversmith. He is uh, from the Navajo Nation. Mm -hmm. And one other uh, tribe. Happy Friday, Laura. Happy Friday, TGIF. Wow. Large piece of turquoise. This turquoise is uh, from western Nevada, uh, southwest, uh, from a place called Pilot Mountain. Uh, huge Pilot Mountain stone. If Jaron Overstreet's watching, I'm sure he's going to ask about this one. Um, got this lovely um, stone to stone inlay here around the border. Something that uh, Mr. Toon is known for is um, incredible inlay work. Got some handmade silver leaves and flowers, bead shot and wire work bordering the piece. We call these uh, this applique, silver applique. And it kind of is in the shape of Nevada a little bit. Hmm. Yeah. Pilot Mountain Turquoise. Uh, Let's see the tassels too. Oh yeah. So, to answer Shep's question from earlier, Mr. Toon is Navajo, Diné, and oh yes, Julia guessed it, Creek. That's right, he's Creek. And he's actually, did you know that he's a cancer survivor? Yeah. He uh, battled and won cancer about 33 years ago. That's right, I think he stopped making jewelry for a while because of that, and then Start it again. Mm -hmm. And so, wow, look at these heavy duty tips. Uh, are those tips. sand cast? Or are they just textured? I, I don't, I think they're just textured because there's only, it's only on one side. Oh yeah, I see. Yeah, so that fooled me too. Wonder what he did to get that texture. Hmm. Maybe he just hammered it? Or? It's really neat. That, that, that was cool. You know, he might've rolled it on a rolling mill with, uh -huh. with something with that texture. I don't know, that's too detailed to be, I don't know. That's cool though. Sometimes there's secrets that we just try to figure out and they're like, how did you do that? Yeah. This piece uh, is retailing for 1900, on sale for 1520. Let me get a, let me show you if I can, sorry how big it is, I'll go on the main camera and just show you how big that is. I'll take off this other one. I need to get rid of this one anyway. It's got my moonstone on it. And if I wear it here, it's gonna like 
sail or something. <laughs> I love moonstone. Turquoise and moonstone, those are my two stones. There we go. I'll just wear this the rest of the show. David Toon, Bolutai. He's got that big chief energy. <laughs> there we go. He's a medicine man, actually. Is he? Yeah. Wow. All right. That is number All five. Right. right? Yep. Then we have uh, number six. Some Zuni work. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Incredible inlay. The inlay masters. Is Todichini? Is that his last name? No, it's uh, uh, Tasclani. Bevin uh, Tasclani. Is that right? Bevis? Bevis? I don't know, I'm trying to read your notes. Yep. <laughs> BT Hallmark. I think. Yep, BT. I believe that's Bevis. Is it pattern on, pattern on the inside? Yeah, let's check that out. Look at the stamp work. Ooh, la la. I love it when they do that on the inside of the bracelets. It's so cool. Beautiful flower pattern. Oh, it's just that so extra pretty. little touch. And then on the outside, we've got um, our turquoise. Makes you wish you could turn your bracelets inside out and wear them. Yeah. Remember when that was a thing where, like, double sided shirts? And oh, yeah. <laughs> people were, like, turning their shirts inside out to wear them. <laughs> Cut down on laundry day, that's for sure. And the jackets that would go inside. Right. Yeah. yeah, maybe it was jackets, not shirts. <laughs> I don't know. Amazing. Uh, set. So yeah, this piece is nine hundred dollars on sale for seven twenty. That stone has a very Sleeping Beauty look about it to me. That very well could be Sleeping Beauty. I don't have a note on it, but that is. Can I try it on? Yes, of course you can. Let's do, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Here I am. So this is number six. Let's get a size probably would be helpful sure. for folks out there. This is a five with a one and one and eight, one and a quarter. So six and a quarter, six to six and a quarter. This th this piece would be really hard to uh, change the size because of all the inlay. Don't want to be crimping it down. Um, that can cause damage to the stones. And uh, oh yeah, that would destroy it. Camera. That the camera we have over there, folks, that's our problem child. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. That's number six. Mm -hmm. All right. And there you are, got, senor. We've got some necklaces and pendants coming up. First of all, look at the size of this. Mama Mia. Huge piece of voiced and ribbon turquoise. Raced in ribbon and got so much character. Here we go. Just to fit it on camera, it's the size of my hand. <laughs> I love the uh, the finish on this piece. It, it glows. It's got a beautiful satin finish. I love it. Harold J. is the silversmith. And I believe it's a uh, Jones. Harold Jones. It's a five inch with the bail, four inch without the bail. Um, he made a handmade uh, bail to match the piece, very large. You can see there you could fit um, either your large uh, Navajo pearls, you could have a multi-strand turquoise necklace to fit on. Oh, that'd be gorgeous. And that will... Can we talk about that crescent moon there at the bottom? This crescent moon down here, this little guy? Yeah, and at the top, I yeah. love it. I love me some crescent moons. So. 
uh, this is probably a chasing technique, a repousé technique. Um, a lot of the um, silversmiths in our industry call it the bump out stamp. Um, we cre he created this little bump out and that's on its own little plate here and was soldered on, sided by some, remember what these are called? Peyote pa buttons. Peyote buttons. And then we've got that continued stamp work all around the sides. Can we see the top of the bale? Yes, of course. We've got this uh, chevron bale. Uh, it's not a chevron bale. What do they call it? Um, Ooh. Graduated bale, where wow. it's nice and thick at the top and then tapers down towards the piece where it connects. And that's... I'd wear that as a ring if I could. It just glows. That satin finish, that mm -hmm. beautiful even glow. You know what, Steve? I feel like when we see these pieces with a, so much stone and then these beautiful halos around the stone, it's it's like you find this this rock, this thing from Mother Nature, and you just have to celebrate it. You have to find a way to just, you know, And here's all the celebration here. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's what it feels like when I look at it. It's just like, this is all about celebrating that beautiful chunk of turquoise. It's a great way of looking at it. And, and you know, he was doing the same thing every little piece of silver that he um, he crafted it was all made for this stone yeah I love religious icons like um, our santos or even renaissance paintings and they always have those beautiful halos so it kind of reminds me of what, like a halo around a gem of being there we go there's this hallmark right there Beautiful. I, you know, I immediately thought it was Royston Ribbon Turquoise, but I've got a note. It's Australia. Oh, I didn't know Australia Turquoise, they but do. I guess they fit the, the area, environment. Yeah. yeah. We don't see it. We haven't seen too much, but yeah, that's it's cool. Oh, this piece was eight hundred cool. um, on sale for six forty. Six hundred forty dollars for this large turquoise. Pinned it. I just want to hang that on my wall. <laughs> Piece of art. Yes. Put it above the, put it above the mat mantle or something. Mm -hmm. Wonder why we don't do that. Why don't we hang stones on the wall with halos around them? I don't know. I mean, you don't <laughs> hang hang stones at your house. <laughs> um. Oh, this is a singer piece. Cliff, Cliff Singer, Cl uh, Clifton Singer. This is number eight. This is, I wanted to show you this the other day when we did our turquoise show. This is what we call chip inlay. Mm -hmm. You see these little, the little uh, chips of turquoise? Got this beautiful pottery um, inlaid with turquoise and coral chips. You see that? We've got some beautiful contrast there where um, the backside was, it was overlaid and then oxidized and then uh, the turquoise chip was laid inside. And this is a pretty awesome piece. It's a necklace. What's cool about chip inlay is how it looks like it's floating. It's like suspended in, in this design. Yeah, I wish I could get a better better shot here. Is it, can you have, does that look good? It's just so further. sparkly. There it is. Right there. Yeah. Look at that pottery. Oh, the light went off. Yeah, it doesn't make it less shiny, but it was a good idea. <laughs> yep, hand stamp and uh, chip inlay piece. Get a measurement on this necklace for you. Here you go. I stole it because it was distracting from the beauty of the piece. That's why we have you around. Keep us, <laughs> keep us in line. Uh, it's about 18 inches. The necklace. Slightly adjustable because of the change you can be, you can hook on. When I hear things like it's 18 inches, it means nothing to me. So, if you're like me and you just need to see it on. 
Okay, well now I can't get a class. But, oh god, I'm not doing a good job of this at all. <laughs> and it is sold. Maryland Swift. Well, good, because I can't get it on. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like, it's about right here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, it's, yep. After you tell me that I'm doing such a good, good job keeping you on track. <laughs> Keep me on track, Gunji. Until I try to handle a lobster claw, and then it all goes downhill. <laughs> this was $2.99. Uh, on sale for uh, 240 is that right? Yep, 240 And that is sold to Maryland. Maryland. What number was that? That was eight? That was number Ooh, eight. Cool. Okay. Congratulations, Maryland. Let's get you a drum beat. Congratulations. I just feel so powerful wearing this thing. I've done all moving around. That's just, what I'm saying. Just a little... it's, the, it's the big chief energy. My husband was, I hope he's not watching because I'm just always telling stories about him, but <laughs> um, I was doing some jewelry photography of him for the Kirk family out of Isleta, and they had this these big, like, bear claw, like, eagle talon, like, intense bolo ties, right? And he's wearing them, and, and he's like, like what? I was like, you gotta, gotta pretend like you're ready for tribal council. Like, let me see your like big chief energy. <laughs> like, oh, <laughs> I'm wearing the bow tie. Yep. <laughs> Is Clifton related to Tommy Singer? I don't know. I'll have to ask him. I know. I'm pretty sure there's two Singer families. Uh, uh it's a Navajo. Name. I know the painter Singer family, but Monty and. Ryan. Ryan Singer? Yeah. We did a video of Ryan Singer's on our YouTube channel. Really? Yeah. He's he, we're related um, through our clans. Are you? I think I'm like his grandmother or something. His <laughs> clans are like tricky like that. Yeah. So we always joke, or he jokes about it. I'm just like, hey, grandma. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love his Star Wars art. He yes. really gets into it. Oh, yeah. he's got cool stuff. Yeah. Is he still living over off of uh, Central or kind of that area? Um, I'm not too sure. But uh, he actually, he painted me one time. Oh, really? I have a, a, a painting of, that he did of me. He's a cool guy. Yeah, he's cool. Anyway, sorry for diverging. Uh, did we get a drum beat for Marilyn? You did do drum. I did. Right? Should we do it again? Oh. This is the day of the double drum. <laughs> just do it. <laughs> Never heard of anybody. Half the time we forget, so we're just going to make up for it. Oh, uh, Richard Ortiz. Richard Ortiz, that's the artist? Mm -hmm. Yes. Do you know what tribal affiliation uh, Ooh, me, this me, would be? Me. This is a very classic, uh, traditional uh, style of this tribal affiliation um, that Richard Ortiz is fr uh, from. This is the classic wave pattern. See the waves coming together? Oh, yeah. Yep. Hopi, 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 that is correct. This is the Hopi wave pattern. Uh, Richard Ortiz is Hopi. He came into the shop uh, last year uh, before, right before the pandemic, and he brought in a couple bracelets, and we've had this in our shop uh, since then. I've always loved overlay because of just the clean aesthetic. It's almost like black and white. Of course, it's silver and oxidized, but I just really love that effect. He does a great job too. He's very well known for the, his his precision and overlay. And um, something I like about uh, a lot of the Hopi style that I think differentiates whenever I see it for some reason in my head it because there's a lot of Navajo artists now that are doing overlay and they're great but this you see these little itty bitty lines you can kind of see them mm -hmm. in there I feel like that's a Hopi thing I've always really liked that texture that's inside I, I've put my fingers all over this piece so I'm probably not doing it justice I need to polish it up with we a should polishing have a cloth. polishing cloth down here what's wrong with this we should Notes for next time. Uh, this piece was retailing for five hundred. On sale for four hundred. The authentic Hopi pieces usually go for a little bit more, just because there's not as many artists. Um, they are well known for this style, so that's another thing. This is going to be a six and a fourth. So we can go probably anywhere between six and close to seven on this bracelet. Um, we can show off the hallmark back here. I think it's, I think it's F. R. Ortiz. I think it was Francis. I think it's 
Uh, oh, I like the pop. But he goes by Richard, so the R is right there in his middle name. And I don't know if he's Badger Clan, uh, because that's what that symbol could be there. Uh, the Badger Clan, it's Hopi. Um, I'll have to ask him next time I see him. But there's, there's his hallmark there. And that is number nine. Number 11? Ten. Oh, up there. Oh, the how do we get away over there? This is um, Floyd. This is his first name. I've been eyeballing that one. He's got a little bear symbol. Let's look at his hallmark. Oh, let's look at the piece first. That's so cool. It's a different design to it altogether. He's got some really cool contemporary art. I like it. And he's taking some of the... It's almost tribal. Like... The tribal... Yeah, the, the tribal... Tribal pattern. as in, like, tribal tattoos, not tribal as in Native American. <laughs> he's kind of blending a little bit of both. Well, yeah. <laughs> uh, gauntlet. Yeah, he's taking yeah. that, like, Navajo, like, butterfly uh, tribal-looking stuff and and making it a little more gothic. That's, that's a good way... That is a good way. ...to put it. Um, he is in Arizona right now. I think he's like in, uh, I'm going to say like Phoenix area. He used to be in, uh, like Red Rock, like, uh, what is it, Sea Benito, like mm. right there on the border. Mm -hmm. I think that's where he's from. Um, he's half German, half Navajo. Oh, I can see the Germanic influence in this. So, is that Tufa or Sandcast? This is Tufa cast. He does Tufa. How do you know the difference? It's kind of the thinking? texture, and plus I know the guy. Okay. I mean, I, you have I don't insider know insider knowledge. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know his work. I. Okay. Yeah. I I, I'd love if uh, Floyd, if you're watching, if you could, if we could uh, meet you and do a show sometime. That'd be that'd be great. Oh, I'd love that. Uh, we've got that, ox blood coral. Is what we call it. Ooh. That's the color there. That is very sought after color. It's basically Mediterranean coral, but that deep red. Yes, Deborah, it's coral. And uh, let's see if we have his hallmark here. There it is. It's on the right down here. Deep oxidation, dark. There you go. You can see his little bear claw down here. I think it says it's an F. P in there, which is Floyd Parkhurst. Tell us about the artist that's coming tomorrow. Oh, we'll get to that. Stay tuned, Debbie. Um, did we mention if he was what his tribal affiliation? His Dene. Dene. Okay. Yep. Let's get a size measurement on this. And then let Unji try it on. Okay. And then let Unji mm -hmm. try it. We're getting a routine here. Yeah. Talk about it, weigh it, measure it, send it to Anji. <laughs> I'm just here to play dress up. Uh, I, I contribute nothing except. <laughs> it's a size six. Except playing dress up and telling stories about my pics. Oh, it fits oh, me! <gasps> they never fit me. Oh, it looks great with my tattoos, too. Okay, all right. <laughs> See what you're doing here. That's cool. That's really cool. I love it. You could tighten it down a little bit on you, but. Would want to. Beautiful. You about a, a five and three fourths, five and a half. We measure, but I can't remember. It's, I I can wear baby bracelets, so that's telling you. All right. One last look at the Floyd Parkers. This piece is priced at six hundred. I believe is that right? Uh, Are we on ten? We're on ten. Number oh, ten. That's seven hundred. Seven hundred. On sale for five sixty. On sale for five sixty. Where's this one? It's right there. Oh, right in front of me. I'll take it back. Get us organized. All right, now, now we have rings. All right, number 11. We've got uh, a beautiful cluster. Uh, Donovan Camden. I'm sorry, Cadman. There's another Camden. Oh my god. Look, look at, at that stones. turquoise. 
is... Beautiful. I'm into it. Hey, Dee Dee from South Carolina. South Carolina! My best friend lives there, Charleston. Oh, really? Yeah, I usually would go there every year, but I haven't been this year, obviously. Or last year, I should say. Um, this is a size 9. Got the thick, thick band there. And look at the band on the side. Oh, my goodness. It's a beautiful stamp work. It... I believe it is Kingman, Denise. Kingman Turquoise. This is, a lot of value of this piece is right here in these stones. This is mm -hmm. one of the waterweb variations of Kingman. Waterweb. Waterweb, mm -hmm. look, it looks like water, like glaciers floating on the water. Yeah. And uh, kind of have a slight oxidation there to give some contrast to that bead shot that segment the stones. What size was it? I believe it's a nine. Oh, yeah. Yeah, feels like a nine. May I? You may. <laughs> Let me get some measurements on it as well. Wow. Now that's a cocktail ring. Ooh. Three inches. Three inches long. Ready for the Shiprock Fair uh -huh. in this thing. Yeah. <laughs> that's so stunning. And the band. Looks pretty from every angle. My hand disappears behind it. Ooh, where did I go? There I am. <laughs> there you go. Playing peekaboo with rings. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this piece was uh, priced at eleven hundred. It'll be on sale for eight eighty. There we go. One more look. Did we mention who the artist was? Yes, yeah, Donovan Camden. Cadman, sorry, I always do that. There's another Camden coming up. Um, he's Dene. I think, I think the rest of the jewelry today is Navajo. Sold. Sold to LMA Peterson. Oh, LMA, that's going to look gorgeous on you when you get ready to go to Shiprock Fair. <laughs> that's right, she lives right, right next to Shiprock. <laughs> that's what you're telling me. You got her with the Shiprock Fair. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, what do we have next? Oh, another ring. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna try it on in advance. Oh, lapis. Look at that. Wow. So these long rings are just the coolest. We had that long turquoise one a few days ago. Remember? Yeah. It was almost too long. It was only too long because I have ridiculously short fingers, but oh, for the right person. <laughs> we need your drum for LMA. Oh, LMA! Congratulations. So the difference between uh, spiderweb and waterweb, Julia, I actually have a whole page on this. Oh, really? And, and, and it, it's kind of like uh, every square is a rectangle, but not every ring rectangle is a square. Whereas uh, water web is a type of spider web, okay. but uh, oh, yeah. not all spider web is water web. <laughs> so it's a, it is a type of spider web matrix. There's uh, spider web is just the spider web pattern, and then uh, the water web kind of has that blue looks like wa like a spider web on top of water. Mm -hmm. There's one we call micro web, which is like really tiny little spider web. Wow. There's which is also spider web. There's macro. Uh, a macro web, which is just like big parts of spider web, the water web. Um, yeah, there may be some others. Uh, there's, there's one with really thick spider web matrix and just dots. Cool. From like Apache blue turquoise. Anyway, I'm, I'm, I digress. Shep, how long have you been making jewelry? <sighs> making jewelry? So I started designing jewelry in 2005 and it really wasn't until a couple years later that I started really kind of toying and playing with jewelry. It was, it was more, it helped with the design and then I got interested because I started designing it a little bit more okay. and, and needing to understand. Such a wealth of knowledge. Okay, check this ring out. That is some beautiful lapis. We were talking the other day about how some lapis just is not very inspiring. 
but the lapis that we've been seeing lately, it's so deep and rich. It's just gorgeous. Hey, Nathalie, uh, we do sell the jewelry. If you're interested, uh, these pieces are for sale. Uh, you just uh, say sold, Natalie, and mention which piece you want to buy in your in your mess in your uh, comment. I try to give that you know the whole square and rectangle like analogy the other day, and I couldn't think of one, and I was like, it's like a breakfast cereal, you know, like all <laughs> Lucky Charms is this kind of cereal, but not all cereal is Lucky Charms. You just yeah. lost it. Yeah, just no one. Everyone looked at me blank, and I was. Just pretty close to three and a half inches long uh, by three quarters wide. This is a size, what size did we say this was? It's not marked. I like the patina on it too. This is a six and a half to seven. It's actually not, there's no purple in it, Denise, that might be just the way it's coming through on your screen. It's very, I would say like a navy or a royal blue color. Yeah, it's a, like uh, like indigo. Indigo, yes. No, well, indigo is kind of a purple. Yeah, it's it? kind of purplish, but it's its own color. It's got its own letter on the Roy G. <laughs> <laughs> Between navy blue and, and violet. Yeah, and we got those little specks. I don't know if you can see them on there, but that is a little, little flakes of pyrite. I'm sorry, what size did you say? Size seven. <clears throat> That's why it fits me. And it's got that natural patina because it is older. It kind of has, and it hasn't been worn uh, a lot. So you've got, you can, you can see it's lighter back here. That's probably because it's been stored um, probably on display. Yeah. And the display was covering this. So a collector has had that. And where's it first? I wore it. Size seven. Can you pop that up there for them, uh, Holden, please? <clears throat> what number is this? Number twelve. Can it size to size eight? We can size this to size eight. That's the thick enough band that we can do that. Yep. Okay. Uh, so yes, Tia, it can be a size eight. You this know you want it. Piece was four hundred on sale for three twenty. Oh, it's so pretty. I love it so much. Alrighty. Sold. Sold to Tia. I knew it. Tia's got great taste. Can you please write oh. size eight on this holding so we know? Where are we? Eight. We can move this. And we are moving right along to ooh, 14? Number 14? Number 13. Do you guys have 13 up there? Oh, yes, 13 comes oh, over this 14. Is, this is another. Uh -huh. We saw this artist today, actually, already. I love already. that. That is very cool. Who's, we saw the artist today? We did. See if you can guess who it is. Without looking at the paper. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Can't reach your handwriting anyway. I know, see? That's <laughs> my secret code. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> Look at that. Did we have something else by this person? We did. This, okay. <laughs> this was a... Uh, yeah, is uh, that what you meant by we saw them today? Yeah. Oh, I thought they actually came here. I was like, what? I think they did, yeah. Uh, no, this is a... Uh, maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Ronald Dixon. Yes, we have Ronald Dixon right here. Oh, that's it, not who I thought. He, but, yep. Is that him? It is him. Okay, that's what I thought. Shoo. Uh -huh. But this is he, this is probably sand cast. Uh, so, look, you can see up here the, the similarity in the work. See, I was thinking you're gonna say it was the Gothic native it, it kind of, designer because yeah. it has this like Viking meets Dene warrior. Totally. I don't know. You have the Viking horns cool. going up here. Yeah. And you have the, yeah. The fleur de lis. I would wear that every day on a long strand of native pearls with my a, wardrobe that is all black. It's got a nice bale to put your pearl, mm -hmm. put it on your pearls. Yeah, beautiful Naja with the corn stock coming down. 
And the peyote buttons. And the peyote buttons. Uh, let's get a measurement on this piece. So this one is... It's just about five inches with the bale and uh, three and a half, so four, I would say four and a half of the bale. A little bit, between four and a half and five of the bale. <laughs> it's 400 and we are having it on sale for 320. On sale for $320. This is a Ronald Dixon sand cast pendant. So cool. I wish we had some beads to just demo it. Yeah, why didn't I do that? Why didn't you? Where's our, can we page our, <laughs> the people upstairs? Are you there? Devin would. Devin, Devin. No, Devin's not Devin's here today. Devin's not here, though. Um, he had a, his neighbor had a well, skunk problem. And <laughs> Devin took See, care he's of got it. farm drama. <laughs> we all have farm <laughs> drama. Yeah. I'm not, this isn't really... We need like a choker for you to wear that. Now. Oh my god, how cool is that? I like your dress, by the way. Oh, thank you. I got it in uh, El Paso at a quinceanera shop. <laughs> well, that kind of gave you an idea, but... If any of our minions are upstairs listening. Okay, 14? 14. Thank you. Oh, I hear a door. I hear the pitter-patter of little feet. Thank you. There he is. Oh, I don't even know if those pearls can stand up to... Is that any more? All right. Okay. Here we go. Let me hide over here. We got this cluster bracelet. Green, green, light green, turquoise. I will need cluster. Some help. Lobster claws are not my friend today. Beautiful little cluster bracelet. Oh, okay. Very okay. traditional style. Uh, this piece is on a set of triangle wire cuff. We've got a <laughs> two shank triangle wire cuff. Sold. Price is really good on this one. It was two ninety nine, and it sold to LMA Peterson. Uh, that would be on sale for two forty, two hundred forty dollars. Our viewers have such great taste. All right, we found some beads for this. Look how cool this is! I think on it does more justice than on the block. Yeah, we don't have a close up though, but it's very cool. I like it. I'm gonna just keep wearing it. <laughs> okay, where are we at? We might as well show the necklace that you were wearing. Oh, well, wait, this is the last one. What number are we on? Oh, okay. 15? Uh, 15. Right here. Yeah, this one. It's our... Oh, drum beat for LMA. Thank you, Lori. Congratulations. Lori's our official uh, drum officer. <laughs> officer, <laughs> officer Lori. <laughs> I love it. Uh, we've got a set here. It's uh, more Sorry. of a, a nausea style squash blossom Ooh. with matching earrings. Do this whole oh, set. I like that western um, pattern on the nausea's. Yeah, these are cast nausea's. They're gorgeous. They remind me of the patterning on a like an old saddle. Oh, totally. Yeah. We've got the smaller nausea's that work their way up there. Cool. Six of them on a handmade silver chain. Beautiful chain with the matching earrings. We've got a little uh, hook clasp there. It is not Golden Hills turquoise. Nope, it's more, It's a, I, I believe it's Kingman. It is. Um, K. Bella. Oh, it's yeah. What's K? Kevin. Bella. Kevin. Bill. Bella. Billy. I think it's Bella. Bella. B i l l a h. Kevin. Navajo. Sandcast. Oh, this is great. Look, you can see the difference right here. 
Look at the difference between the sand cast and the tufa cast, the, the oh. texture. Sorry, I got excited to show you. Okay. Let me see yeah. the tufa. Right there. Oh. Okay. Okay, so the sand cast is grittier. Yeah, it's smaller, finer grit. Okay. I see. Thank you. Yeah. I can totally see the difference. Oh, oh my god. Oh. Thank you, <laughs> box. Box saved by the box. All right, so this, you want to try this one on? Um, is it too long? No. I think it's a little I'm adjustable. I'm having issues with the spill guard. <laughs> what? I'm gonna, you take that away. I'll put it right Thank here. You. Nice wide base. <laughs> Jeez Louise. Wait, like, someone's going to do a video montage just of Unji dropping things. Oh, we should do that. That'd no, be funny. No, let's just not. <laughs> I can't get this off. I'm... Okay, let's cross the, the screen. Oh, it just goes backwards for someone else to do it. Oh. It's hard. There you go. All right. Oh, I want you to show them on this nausea shelf that look at how this can come off. Okay. I think that's cool. I'm not sure what uh, purpose that would be, but it's a cool feature. I'm sure you can tell us why. Yeah, going back to, I think this was number 13. Mm -hmm. uh, here's our nausea. And what Dungey's talking about is the way the bale is connected here through this loop. Uh, we had a shepherd's hook. And so this could do uh, two things. You can open this up and then take the bale off. And then you can use that hook to hook around your uh, beads that are too big for, the, for, for normal bales. Oh. That don't fit through there. Oh, clever. Okay. Um, or you can, or this can be the bale, and you just hook it on, um, or you can attach whatever bale you want. So if you need to change the bale out, that's very cool. Um, you can you can do that. That's handy, huh? It, it'll take a pair of pliers and a little bit of work to do that. I would suggest that you have a jeweler do it, but here you are. Yeah, there we are. Make key Martin. I like this one. Beautiful. How it's much neat. Is that? You don't often see. Um, the squash blossoms without the squash blossoms. So what would you even call this? A nausea yeah, necklace? Yeah, it'd be like a nausea necklace, yeah. <laughs> it doesn't have the squash. <laughs> cool. All right. Oh, there. I may, now we're I, ready I, for... I may have even called it a squash blossom. The price on this piece, uh, was started at 900 That's our, our gallery price. It's on sale today for 720 With the earrings. It's the set. Shepherd's hook. Yep, that's right. It's where I got my name. <laughs> Shepherd's hooks. This is amazing. I've shown this once before, I believe. <laughs> this is incredible wow. coral row keto or gato keto. It means bogard in Navajo. Oh. Yeah. Uh, bogard. Uh, these are all matching corals. Um, hand stamped, thick silver plate. You can see how thick the silver that was used. Um, concho flanks here on the side that match. Both sides, even down to the buckle, we've got matching. Bogard means business. Bogard means business. And then we've got the artist signature somewhere, I think on the back side of the, yep, right there. Matthew Charlie, Navajo. He's here in Albuquerque. Oh. Uh, should have him on the show. We should. We should call him. It's a winner. First place. Oh, awesome. The Nat, the the Gallup Intertribal, which is a pretty big deal for uh, a lot of uh, silversmiths. Congratulations, Matthew Charlie. 2013. It's almost. It's eight years old. So this piece was selling for six thousand dollars. Uh, the, it has not been punctured yet. We will size it for you if you do decide to purchase this piece. Uh, on sale for 4800 4800 This one's literally a museum piece. I mean, it's an award-winning, one-of-a-kind, just wow. This, <clears throat> this is a large piece. We can squeeze down to about a 7, but we'll go up to uh, a size... Nine or ten wrists. It, it's huge. 
Someone earlier suggested I put that on, and I'm like, are you kidding me? And that would fit around my leg. Well, yeah, I'll put it on your neck as a joke. <laughs> <or something. laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, that, there we go. It could probably fit on my neck. Yeah, it looks, <laughs> it almost looks like, a, like an African. We're getting, we're getting very creative with our native <laughs> Gothic look today. <laughs> All right, that is number uh, 16. 16. Oh, Navajo Bogart. Oh. Uh, K-E-T-O-H. Keto. For a moment, I thought you were saying gato, and gato, I didn't gato, understand. Gato. I didn't see a cat anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 so some regions called it kato, which sounds like gato. Because I've had, so I, I went on a tour, the um, Antelope Canyon, uh -huh. and the Navajo tour guide there called it a gato. Oh. But in like the Four Corners area, we called them keto. Well, I'm sure it's... Like Spanish, it's regional. Yeah, probably. Um, the way you pronounce it, it's lost its little tag. I'm sure. And it's one of the languages that has a little dialect. You know, it's just very... And it's tonal, too. Tonal. Which is what makes it so hard to learn. Here we go. This is what Anji was wearing at the beginning of the show. Mm -hmm. This is item number 17. Got handmade Navajo pearls uh, by Gilbert Martin. Naja pearl necklace. Oh, this is such a good price too. This one's gonna go. I know it's awesome. This was uh, three ninety nine. Three twenty. On sale for three twenty. Yes. Would you like to put this one back on? No, I'm. I'm just gonna stay in this one because okay, it's, it's getting. Uh, I'm like having issues with clasps today for some reason. <laughs> there you go. Beautiful necklace. Let's get a size on you. I'm going to say 20 inches. 20 inches? That's your guess? That's my guess. It is... Yeah, 20 inches. Really? Yeah. I'd say 20 <laughs> to... It's, it's resting at 20 inches, um, then goes flat. So maybe an extra inch once we... Go all the way. Yeah, we're looking at 20, 22 actually. So that added a couple inches, but it's going to hang at 20. Awesome. Because of the way it's the nausea hangs. Awesome. Yeah, I like that one. <laughs> That's the one I picked out for today. So that is number, I would be surprised if this one lasts the weekend. Are those hands? Those are little hands. Oh my goodness. The, the healing hands. <gasps> Do you see that? Beautiful nausea. 320, number 17. Okay. That's everything. Oh, these earrings are super cute, though. I think you should show them because I picked them out today because the stones are the coolest. So can anyone tell me what stone this is? Brand or shell? Hint, hint. Oh, so cool. Look at that. This is, uh, it's purple, it, purple to white. Um, it is a shell. And they, here's the markets. other ones, because they match remarkably. I love how milky the shell is. That little pop of purple. Uh, it is wampum. Good job, Debbie. Wampum is a uh, stone that comes out of the St. Lawrence River, uh, sacred to the Nargasset and Blackfoot people of the East Coast. Did not know. And uh, there, there's a couple art, well-known artists for it. There's an artist named Chin, uh, who is Nargasset and Blackfoot, actually. Uh, and uh, he's got a video on our YouTube channel. Um, we've got, and he talks about wampum um, and what it means to his people. So that's pretty cool. Check out our YouTube channel if you get a chance. Those are um, $225 if anyone's curious. $225 on sale. 20% off of $225. What is 20% off of $225? Hold in. That would be what? Uh, 50, 40. So yeah, I actually thought those were purple spiny. So I learned something new. What is that? 180. 
on sale for 180. Eddie Secretaire actually made these. I had some, and I was like, Eddie, check this out. And he made them earrings. So. Oh, that's the story. Yeah, we've got this the twist wire here. Well, they called out to me today. 180 for the Wampa. And you want to look at number 15 one more time? Which was number 15? This one. Oh. The Mona. Number 15 was our award-winning Navajo Keto. There we go. And if anyone's interested in wampum, I can probably get some, some more. You can ask some of our artists to make some pieces and we'll do a show. That'd be fun. That'd be pretty cool. It's kind of expensive. It's hard to find. It seems like it would be. It looks very unique. Yes, there's our Keto. Are the wampum heavy earrings? No, they're not. I mean, they're they're sturdy, but you want to. What's our scale? Yeah, scale. For Vicky, Vicky's curious. Vicky's curious. So wampum is typically pretty light. The shell itself. Um, we're looking at ten grams. That's with the silver. That's a, that's that's one earring. Um, so it's. Eddie uses decent sized silver, and it's got that uh, that border, but fits pretty snug. And if you wanted, we could include some comfort earbacks. It's it's got a really flat base, so if you're concerned about it hurting your ears or something like that, we'll put a comfort back on the back on here. And with the comfort back, the big uh, ear nut that's very wide, mm. kind of like a suction cup, <laughs> and against this other side, it'll be very very comfortable. But I don't even think it needs that, having just the normal ear nut. Is it didn't easy. feel uncomfortably heavy to me. Um, someone wants to see the wild horse cuff again. Wild horse cuff. Let's go back through them all. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Are they not? Are they in the right order? Is Angie going to freak out because they're not in the right order? Yeah, they're close enough. Okay. I figured it out. <laughs> <laughs> I like... She likes order. Order. Uh, just as a quick intermission here, wanted to let you know... Uh, that if you're tuning in, this is a live show from Albuquerque, New Mexico. We are Turquoise Sky, is a mm -hmm. small jewelry shop in the Northeast uh, he Northeast Heights, uh, just up, just uh, outside of Uptown, or just on the border of Uptown. Um, anyway, uh, we are a small business and we sell jewelry. Um, we have our gallery, uh, museum quality jewelry that we bring out on Fridays. Um, we are here four days a week right now, soon to be four and a half. Uh, meaning every other Wednesday. Oh, okay. I'm like, <laughs> I wasn't sure what you meant. <laughs> uh, we're here at 3.30 Mountain Standard Time on Tuesday, Wednesdays if we do a show. And uh, we are actually next Wednesday. That's right. We are doing it at 5 p.m. We're doing 5, at 5 p.m. on Wednesday? Yeah, see news okay. to him. Ha, news to me. Uh, so every Tuesday, Friday, and Saturday we'll be here at 3.30 Mountain Standard Time, which is 2.30 Pacific, 5.30 Eastern. We have a late show on Friday. Uh, at 5.30 Mountain Standard Time, which is 7.30 Eastern, mm -hmm. uh, 4.30 Pacific. Um, and then uh, Wednesdays are to be announced. This Wednesday, Next Wednesday, we're going to be doing a, a scholarship uh, for a, a student. Um, Roberta. Roberta. Is Roberta coming in? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, for Roberta, she's uh, a new student uh, in the jewelry program here at our local community college. And we have a bunch of donations from other artists and collectors uh, that we'll be selling to raise money for Roberta for tools and supplies and everything she needs to go to school. Yep. And if you follow us on Facebook, um, we have those events posted at the beginning of every week so you'll know what's coming up and when so you don't have to um, take notes or anything. It'll, it'll be right there. Also, please join our inner circle. Um, Holden will put a link in the description below. Uh, there, our inner circle. Click the link, join. And uh, we'd love to stay in communication with you. We'd love to see your jewelry. Um, you can communicate with us and our artists uh, there. So check that out. Um, if you need to get a hold of us, you can find us. Our website is tskies.com. Our email is hello at tskies.com. Um, you can reach out to us on Facebook, on Messenger, or call us here at the shop. Our phone number is 505-862-9443. And we have had a lot of questions about what's happening tomorrow. We have Nick Nez, the name artist. Uh, he will be our guest tomorrow. Um, he's bringing in his own jewelry. We're all excited to ask him questions about who he is. 
and where he comes from and how he got started and everything about his jewelry. Uh, really awesome work. He's a perfectionist. Um, so he'll be here tomorrow. Please come and support him. Uh, this is All the jewelry will belong to him. We're just facilitating the show and you'll be buying directly from him if you d decide to purchase anything. Mm -hmm. So awesome. Let's go. We're going to go quite a bit uh, faster this time. Okay. If you see something you like, um, let us know by saying sold in the comments. Let me get this back. And if you don't mind including the number of the piece, so we make sure we get you the right piece. What uh, day and time will the student be on? So next Wednesday, Leticia, at 5 o'clock yeah. Mountain Standard Time. Yes. And Leticia, you follow us on Facebook, so there will be an event posted for that that you can uh, look out for. Yeah. And Devin will be your host on Tuesday also. So you'll get guys will get to That's see. Right. Devin has some of his own jewelry Seven working on. Sweet and... smiley face. He says he hasn't been on in about a month, so we're yeah. probably missing him. And we need to figure out our schedule for uh, April, I think. We have a few artists that yes. have asked to come in, but we'll get back to you on the schedule yes. for that. Yes. Yeah. We will we'll, we'll work that all out. And we've had a lot of people ask for Rick Monty. He won't be able, he'll he'll be able to come back I think the first week of May. Okay. Maybe, maybe the end of April. We have Jonathan McKinney that was, has been requested to come back and he said he, he's probably available at the end of April. Uh, we've got a couple new artists. Um, I know Eddie's down to come in whenever. We awesome. just need to give him a week's heads up because he's working constantly. Uh, we've got, um, we have, there's like three or four more that I'm missing, but we'll, we'll, we'll stay in touch about that. Awesome. And German time? There's so many times. I don't I could know. Just, yeah. We'll have to ask Alexa <laughs> about that one. Half an hour ahead. Yeah, or oh, we have eight, a Holden. Eight hours, actually. We just have to say, hey, Holden, what time is it in Germany? Is Germany time the same time <laughs> as London time? Because I think that's eight hours. I don't yeah, know. I think it's seven hours. So. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. Depending on the time change, right? Mm -hmm. Did you do a time change in Germany? Number one. This is our Lester James Tufa Cast bracelet, size six and a half. Uh... I've got this beautiful, amazing turquoise and coral inlay with uh, yay, uh, carving and tufa cast. Amazing. Uh, was 1800 on sale with a $360 off uh, for $1,440. Number two is... Mm. That giant wild horse wow. by Ronald Dixon. Amazing. This is. It looks like marble. Also, can be a size six to size seven. Um, we can adjust it, size it for you if you are interested in the piece. Do you see that X in the stone? Yeah. Like how it makes an, a natural X for X marks the spot. That's so cool. Yeah, totally like galactic. Kind What's of. it look like if you flip it the other way? <laughs> Oh, I like it that way better. You like that? Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Anyway, um, on sale for thirteen sixty. On sale for thirteen sixty. Skipping to number six, as we sold number three, four, and five. We have the uh, um, uh, Bevis. Tosclani. Tosclani. Sunni inlay bracelet. Beautiful turquoise. $900, but it's on sale for $720. On sale for $720. And how long does that sale last, Chuck? So that, we'll honor that sale through the weekend. Basically, when we come in to start shipping on Monday, if we have awesome. offers, we'll, uh, we'll honor that. Yeah, we used to say 24 hours, and then we... Missed a bunch of messages because we weren't here on Sunday. So we'll, That's fair. Yeah, when we come in on Monday, it's, we cut it off. So there we go. Got the huge Australian ribbon turquoise pendant. Harold J. By Harold J. I don't want to mess up his name. I thought it was Jones. But it could be John. I think it's Jones. Harold Jones. My mind's slipping. <laughs> Your mind is... Well, you have a lot going on. <laughs> Love that satin finish. What number is it? This is number seven. It's eight hundred dollars, 
for the next 24 hours or the next through the weekend um, on sale for 640 640 skipping to number nine we've got the uh, Richard Ortiz Hopi bracelet size six and a quarter we can bring that up to probably pretty close to a seven uh, we've got that classic Hopi wave it's a geometric wave pattern you see a lot of the buildings right outside of uh, Ho or in Hopi and outside of Hopi have that pattern on them was retailing for 500 on sale for 400 do we know where the what, where that pattern comes from or why it's significant that is, that is a Hopi pattern for sure but why waves do we know why water water is life and water is very much oh, okay yeah I, well I mean I I get that but I don't know where like waves would oceans have waves so yeah. like it, and it's just curious I'm just curious That'd if be anyone interesting. knows you should do some investigative journalism Ooh. <laughs> okay <laughs> really next piece uh, we have kind of the gothic design uh, Floyd Parkhurst very interesting artist. I'd love to have him on the show. I'd love to have any of these artists on the show. That'd actually, be if we can, fabulous. Some, some, it's harder for, harder than uh, for some more than others to get on the camera, and we don't want to uh, force anybody. But um, if you're an artist and you're watching, you are welcome to come to the show and sell your own jewelry. We'll uh, help you out. We, we won't put you on the spot. We take a small cut just to keep the show running, but honestly, it's for you, and uh, we do have a lot of artists that. Uh, we'll vouch for how awesome it is. Uh, Floyd Parkhurst is Navajo uh, and uh, German. You see the Germanic influence there? Is 700 on sale for 560. 560. Uh, number 11 and 12 both sold. Yep, those are the rings, so 13. Number 13 is our. Uh, Ronald Dixon. Oh, I just love that one. Pendant. This is a cast pendant. Naja. Naja. Beautiful. It was uh, 400 on sale for 320. Mm hmm. This one, huh? We've got our Naja bra uh, necklace and earring set. Yeah. So the reason it's not a squash blossom, guys, is because the squash blossom is called such because of the squash blossom, blossoms. squash blossom <laughs> pendants on the sides, the little fluted designs. So I, I slipped a little bit earlier. I called it a squash blossom. I'm just so used to the the Naja centering some squash. And in place of the squashes, the squash blossoms, we have smaller nausea's. So it still is in that theme of the squash blossom, a little play on that style of necklace, but it is a nausea bracelet. Oh, nausea. <laughs> nausea necklace. 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 <laughs> We're going to get there. Yeah. And it, that is the full set with the matching earrings. Uh, that was 900 for 720. the set. On sale for $720. Uh, layaway is available on these pieces. Any purchase over 250 qualifies for layaway. Alrighty. Number 15 is our award winning Bogard. And really, what that is, is when you're shooting your bow, this will be around your wrist. And when you're shooting the bow, uh, this will protect your wrist from this bowstring hitting your wrist. And so, a very decorative version of that uh, bow guard. Now we'll call it Keto. I don't know if uh, traditionally women wore those or if it was just men. I think it was a man. It was a male thing. I know. But women wear them now. We were warriors, but I don't know. I don't know what we wore that symbolized that. And this one. Maybe the nausea. Maybe. Yeah. I'll have to 
do some research on that you as well. Do some investigative journalism. You, you <laughs> love throwing that word around. <laughs> it, it just sounds like so much fun. I think I think you're have a great time, and I think everyone would love to. Yeah. Love to see that. The last piece here is, I think this is, I think this is the deal of the day. Um, it really Gil is. That's such a cool piece. Gilbert Martin, Naja pearl necklace. And by pearl, I mean the desert pearls, the Navajo pearls, the handmade bench bead, silver beads, uh, 20 inch, 20 to 22 inches. Uh, this is 400 on sale for 340. No, 320. 320. I just love those little hands. That's right. Okay. That is it. So we are at our hour and a half mark. Uh, we try to do these shows between an hour and an hour and a half. Um, and we will be on about the same amount of time tomorrow with our guest artists. Mm -hmm. um, and so if you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to reach out. If you're watching the show after hours, um, we're live right now at uh, 5 o'clock Mountain Standard Time. but. Um, there's we get a lot of people watching after the show and, and asking oh man is that still available it could be if you have any question whatsoever please don't hesitate to reach out leave us a message send us a message and I will be able to get back to you tomorrow and Monday if you had any questions about anything um, whew, yeah that's our show <laughs> we'll be here we'll be back tomorrow at 3.30 Mountain Standard Time with Nick Nez with Nick Nez that's right so thank you, everyone. I'm Matthew James. Uh, we've got Holden behind the camera. Thanks, and Holden. thank you, Angie, for helping today and keeping me sane. You're welcome. <laughs> Have a great night, everyone. Bye. Mm -hmm.